Hi guys, today I wanted to share a video with you where I'm going to share a couple of things. Um, I'm going to first show you my collection of Filofax Maldens that I currently have. I have three different colors. Second part of the video is I'm going to show you which planners I'm using for my two week lake vacation that's coming up soon and some stickers that I'm going to be using as well. And then the third portion is just kind of for my own sanity. I am having serious Gilio issues. I ordered a new Gilio Rust in the last restock and my order got all messed up. So I am going through a serious amount of stress with it and I've been crazy for like 48 hours like totally crazy and I felt like if I could just talk to you guys about it it would make me feel better so if I cried and whined it would be better <laughs> so anyway what I'm going to do is because the video is a little bit of a hot mess and it's going to be three different segments I will timestamp the segments below so you can skip to whatever portion of the video you're most interested in okay so we're going to start with my Maldens The first Malden I have is the Aqua Malden. This one is extremely hard to find. It's discontinued. I absolutely love, love this Malden. I was lucky enough to get this on uh, eBay. Uh, she had a really high price on it that was a little too high for my taste, but she did have a best offer link and I put in a best offer and she accepted it and I was really happy that she did. So this planner currently is not in use and that's why it's empty, but I did want to show it to you. It is gorgeous. The leather is so soft. It smells really nice. I just love everything about it. And as you can see, I got it in really amazing, amazing condition. There's really nothing wrong with this planner. I think there might be a dark spot on it here and there, but that is just regular wear in the leather. And I've probably done that myself. I don't even think that was there when I originally bought it. So I love this planner so much. Maldens are pretty much my favorite right now in my collection. I have Kiki K's, I have Kate Spades, and I have Webster's Pages and Filofax Originals, and I always tend to go back to the Maldens. So this is my Malden Aqua. I really love it. Okay, let's go on to the next planner. The next planner that I have is my Malden Okra. It is a brown color. I love this one as well. Now, I just recently did a flip through of what my current setup is. So this is just slightly different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link below my last setup video so you can see most of everything that's still in my planner. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna point out a couple of changes that I've made since that video. So it's nothing extreme, just a couple of things. And the first thing is this Kiwi Pocket. Oh my God, I love it. So I'm gonna open this up and show you a closer look of it. This is made by the Kiwi Rose. She is on Instagram and she has um, a website and I will link that below. I absolutely adore this. The quality and the material of this pocket is so nice. I love the riveted holes. It's really made nicely. It has an elastic pen loop, so you gain a pen loop, whichever planner you put it in. And I just have a couple of clips in the lower pocket with some stickers. I have a felt clip up here to remind me to water my plants, which I'm absolutely terrible at. And if my plants survive the next like two or three weeks, it's pretty much gonna be a miracle miracle because <laughs> I am horrible and I kill all plants. Yep, kill them all. <laughs> I've even killed cactus plants. Can you believe it? Oh my God, it's terrible. My husband teases me about it all the time. <laughs> okay, in the back here I have some random stickers. There's a large pocket. In the large pocket, what I do is I just keep my planner Kate divider labels in there. So that goes there. I'm gonna flip it over. There's two more pockets. So five pockets in total. This sparkle clip is from Picks and Stones and this uh, sun clip is from How Cute For You. All the shops I'll link below. Guys, this pocket is a total must. I am in love with it. I am obsessed with it. And what I like about it is every day I kind of change it a little bit so I can customize the inside of my planner without having to change too much of what's in there 
in the base part of the planner. Love this thing so much and she was running a sale during Mother's Day so I snatched it up and now I'm like really anxious for her to release other colors and stuff because I'm going to be getting more of these. So I'm just going to put that right back in my planner. I like to keep it in the front. One of the uh, main reasons why I didn't order it sooner was because I thought it was going to make my planner too bulky and oh was I wrong. It was totally worth taking out a couple of inserts just to put this in. If you can see it is really thin. It is not bulky at all and I love this. It's my favorite part of my planner. Here I just have some random page flags. I have some page flags from Target. I have page flags from Exo Mama Plans and I'll link that below. I have some odd loop stickers that I keep in this long pocket and my Peonies Papery Star Clips. I always like to have a band when I have a Malden because I like to decorate this area right here. It always seems so plain to me not to have something there. And this band here is from Rainbows and Pixie Dust. So really love this. I am currently in this planner for my current week and I'll show you that real quickly. My stickers are from Soda Pop Studio. Oh my God, I love this kit. It is so cute. It has the ladybugs and a really fresh summer bright theme. And I love this ladybug. She is so cute. I love her. <laughs> I was able to secure some washi tape from a friend in a swap for Michaels. I was really, really excited about that because guys, I don't have a Michaels that's close to me. And every time something gets released and you guys are going crazy about it and posting a million pictures, I personally am suffering <laughs> because I can't get the stuff and it might be like weeks before I can make it to a Michaels and usually by then the stuff is gone. So um, I was happy to get the washi tape, really, really happy. So that is that. And then we have this happy clip over here that's from Picks and Stones and this flower clip that's from Scrappy Drew Designs. I love her clips. I have a peach palm, a felt uh, ladybug, uh, Twister's Plans, a gold clip, ribbon clip that's probably one of my favorites in the back and a tassel from hot pink fluff that matched my theme for this week really really loving this okay the other thing that is new is these dividers oh my god i love my new dividers these dividers are from sarah plans and i will link that below she just recently changed her shop name so i want to make sure i get that correctly i'll get that down in the link below but look how cute these dividers are. And what I like about them is they are double sided. Big, big bonus plus for me. And they are super, super, super thin. I adore them. And I have another order that's out with her now because I just have to have like all the dividers now. All of hers at least. <laughs> so I'm really happy about that. So I'm gonna show you the dividers. Look how cute this palm tree one is. Oh my God, I love it. It's so summery. Here are just some of my menus. I have, look at the surfboards. Oh my God, I couldn't say no to the surfboards. They're so cute. And I like that they're double-sided. I can't get over that. Okay, so here's the striped one. Totally love that. And I just gotta hide my finances there. The flip-flops are cute as well this for the summer. This one is a lemonade. We all love that lemonade theme, so. Really liking that with the peach and the lemonade. Really, really nice. Nothing else has changed in here. If you wanna see everything else, just look at my last video. I will link that below. So that is my Ochre Malden. We're gonna move on to my Crimson Malden next. Here is my Crimson Malden and I love this planner, guys. Now, a lot of people did not realize that they released a crimson version. There are several discontinued colors like vintage pink, gray, black, but a lot of people don't know about the crimson. I adore this planner. I was lucky enough to get this on eBay Spain. I happened to see a post with somebody selling one and I thought her price was fairly reasonable, so I grabbed it. There is a little wear on this planner, but honestly, it's just regular wear and tear that you would just expect from a planner. And most of like these markings on there, I put myself. So, you know, the the planner came to me in immaculate condition. Okay, this is one of my new planner bands. I just posted this on my Instagram. It's from Mud Pie and Pigtails Boutique, 
and I really, really love it. It's gorgeous. I love the color combination. I love the anchor. I even love the red and white striped band on it. So let's open this up and I will show you kind of what I have in here so far. There is not a lot. This is being set up for my lake trip. I have a shark clip with which I'm in love with from Picks and Stones. I have this really cute shell clip. I believe this one is from Scrappy Drew Designs. I have several felt clips. This one here from Peach Palm, and I have this gorgeous ribbon clip in the back from Twister's Plans. Now this dashboard here, I get a lot of questions about. I am actually on the Planning Made Perfect uh, creative team and Jen made this for me as a personal gift. I am sorry guys I don't believe that she sells them in her store, but it is my favorite dashboard and I love it Now in here guys I have my older dividers which I need to get rid of because they're really ugly and they're really thick and I would like to move on from them. So like I said, I need to have all of Sarah's uh, new dividers and I have an order out for two sets coming now and I'm probably gonna order two more sets tonight. Shh, don't tell anybody, especially not my husband. <laughs> And anyway, so we're going to move on. Look at how cute this is. Now, this is from an older Coco Daisy kit. And what happens here is it's dated July 2015, but I'm going to cover this up and make it for June of 2016. And I'm going to cover up this calendar with the current calendar. I just love the octopus and the crab uh, design of these pages, so they had to go in here. So... What's nice about these is that they are undated. The week is undated, so I can use this at any time. I have two weeks put inside the planner, and what I'm going to do here is just do some daily um, checklists. What I'm gonna do is every day of stuff that I need to accomplish either before I leave for the lake or while I'm at the lake. So really loving those. And then look at this octopus. Oh my God, is that not awesome or what? I'm just dying about that. And then I do have actually specifically um, daily to-dos and I'm loving these as well. Really, really loving these. So I added those in as well. Now again, this is an older kit from Coco Daisy from 2015, but it's really, really gonna work for my lake vacation coming up. So I'm really excited about that. And there's nothing else inside the planner. I do have a couple of note sheets. Look how cute these note sheets are. I mean, oh my God, I'm dying over them. So hopefully by the time my vacation comes, my new dividers will be in. So I'll be changing those out. And then I have a clip from Twister Plans and this cute little felt lobster clip. So that's all I have set up so far for this planner. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the sec second part of the video, which is what I'm planning to do while I'm on my two week vacation. Okay, a lot of you might be wondering why does she have the same exact planners out? <laughs> because these are the three planners that are coming on my vacation. And I'm going to kind of try to explain to you what I'm going to be doing with them. It's a little confusing, but I think it'll make sense. I am going to have two weeks going at a time or two planners going at a time. And I'm sorry, that is just the way I plan. Nothing will be repetitive. I will do different things on each of the inserts, but I like to have two planners at one time. When you are a total planner addict and junkie like myself, that is totally normal, I promise. <laughs> so. For the planner addicts out there, you will understand that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have my So Much Crafting inserts week on four pages here. My vacation touches over two weeks. So for that two weeks, I have two different kits that I'll be using. The first one is going to be this one from Glitter Queen and uh, Paper Co., which is Philo Alley. I absolutely think these are adorable. I love them and they go with my theme really, really well. So that will be my week one and that's going to be my week on four pages. 
The second kit I'm going to be using is these from Sticker Sensations, and I'll link all these shops below. I am loving these as well. Look how cute those are. I mean, hello, with the anchors and the little seahorses and the coral. I mean, I'm really, really loving these. So my main planning is on that. I do have some random uh, Planner Whimsy stickers, and I have some Hello uh, Ashley Ann stickers that just go with this whole nautical theme. So I'm gonna kind of throw those in just in case I need extras. But I am really, really loving this kit. I like it a lot. So that will be my second week. And that will be week on four pages. So that planner will be taken care of. Then we're going to be doing the two weeks in these two planners as well. For the first week, I am going to be using this gorgeous sticker set from It's Planning Time. I love it. It's cute. It has a nautical theme, but it has that great aqua that's going to tie back to my aqua Malden really nicely. Now, for the two weeks in these two planners, I will not be doing week on four pages. I'll be doing week on two pages so I can go with smaller kits. So this will be my first kit that's going to go in my Aqua Malden. And then for the second week, I'm gonna switch off to my okra colored planner. And I do not have the sticker kit for this one yet. It is going to be a cabin lake theme and really like browns and greens and really pretty. And I have lots of little clips and everything that's lined up. Unfortunately, I do not have the stickers and I'm hoping that I'm having a set custom made now. Woo, you know who you are. <laughs> And hopefully I get it in time for my late vacation because I won't have anything for the second week. So that is what I'm doing. Very, very confusing. So week on four pages, two different weeks in here, and week on two pages shared across these two planners. So that's everything for my vacation. Okay, now we're going to go on to the third part of this video, which is my Jillio drama. You guys don't want to miss that. Okay guys, I'm just gonna kind of leave these stickers out here because I don't have anything else to show you while I talk about this. Okay, so I have been wanting a Jillio for a very, very, very long time. So like the rest of you, I have been stalking the Jillio website. I don't wanna buy pre-owned because it's quite an expensive planner and if I'm gonna spend that much money, I would like the joy of getting it directly from the manufacturer. I would like to just know what it feels like to get one brand new in my hand that no one else has touched. I'm kind of just like, that. So obviously with my Aqua Malden, I didn't have that opportunity. So I did buy used and same with the Crimson. But if I have an opportunity to buy it new, I like to do that. That's my preference. So I held out and I held out and did not buy a used one. And I finally purchased one from their website in last week's restock. They have been restocking every Tuesday for the month of May and got lucky and the Rust um, Medium Campania got stocked last Tuesday. I got so excited when I placed the order, guys, that I put in the wrong zip code. I am originally from New York. I now live in Missouri, and I put in my New York zip code. I can't even believe it. I was pretty devastated when it happened. The weird thing that's that about the whole thing is that I've been here for like nine years, 10 years now, and I have not made that mistake in a very, very long time. I used to do it all the time in the beginning and my husband used to be like, ah, what is your problem? How do you not know your zip code? <laughs> but it's hard when you move and you have a new zip code. You go back to your old one, quite frequently. Well, there was a really stressful situation and I was so scared that the planner was going to sell out that I rushed through the process of checking out and put in the wrong zip code. So I did contact Jillio immediately and I explained to them what happened and Steve from Jillio was super nice and said, we're going to cancel your order, just re-put it in and we'll use the new order with the correct information and just put it in as you're going to pay with a bank payment because because the payment already went through on my credit card from the first order. So he said, "Don't we don't want to recharge you, so 
just put in the order as you're going to send us a payment and we'll already know that you paid and everything will be fine. So I put in a second order with the correct zip code. It was really stressful going through these messages and emails back and forth with Jillio to get it corrected, but it did get corrected. And two days ago, I received my tracking number. And when I looked at it, it had the wrong zip code, guys. I thought I was going to cry. Ah! So I kind of panicked and I sent Jillio more messages. I posted in their Facebook group because I'm all panicked about it and I'm freaking out. And here I am thinking I'm going to get this brand new Jillio for my lake vacation. Um, not. It didn't happen. So I contacted them and basically they said all I can do is wait for it to be sent back to them. And once it gets sent back to them, they'll send it back to me. And guys, that could be weeks and weeks. I'm so devastated about it. I literally cried. I waited six months to get this Julio to start with and because I screwed up the first time and didn't put in the correct address and Julio screwed up the second time and said they took the wrong address information from the wrong order even though I submitted a new one to correct the old one so a little bit of their fault a little bit of my fault I'm not going to say anything bad about the company I think they're really really awesome everybody was really sweet to me so I'm not going to say anything bad about them but um Basically, that's all I can do. I believe the, the uh, package is currently in customs, and if I'm able to pull a tracking number once it hits the U.S., I might be able to call that carrier and get it corrected, intercept the package, and change the zip code. I may not. It all depends. Other foreign uh, packages that I have received, once they hit the U.S., I don't get any new information, and it just shows up at my doorstep. So I don't feel like I'm going to be able to track it. I have a feeling the package is going to go to the New York zip code. And when they figure out what's happening, because everything else in the address is correct, they're going to send it back to sender. So no Jillio for my va vacation, guys, and no Jillio to show you on my Instagram for probably several weeks. I'm a little ill about it. <laughs> And I want to say thanks to Ashley from Planner Ask. She has definitely been like my rock through this because she's been listening to me cry and whine about it constantly. <laughs> and she's been really good about it. She's been really sweet and, you know, helping me to cope with this disaster. Because if you're a planner like myself and you know what it is to get your hands on a Jillio, it's like practically impossible. You will know my woes right now. So I had an absolute miserable day and I figured if I came and talked to you guys, because I love you guys, that I would feel so much better. And you know what? I do. I do. I feel better. <laughs> so anyway, that is my Jillio trauma and, you know, dramatic story. Hopefully I'll be able to intercept the package. If you follow me on Instagram, you will know because I'm sure I will put a thousand bazillion updates on it because I'm so panicked about it. Right now, I think I just need to calm down and relax because I am the type of person that I let stress really get to me. And when I'm really, really stressed, I can physically make myself ill. <laughs> which is scary, but it happens because I'm a little bit of a stress, worry, wart type of person. So anyway, um, I think I'm going to live. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So that was everything, guys. I know this was very long and drawn out. Thank you if you lasted this long through all three segments of this video. You guys are awesome. I love you. I really do. I'm going to try to mention all the shops from all the items that I showed you below. If I missed anything, just leave it in the comments, guys. I'm trying to get better at replying to comments quicker here. So thank you so much, guys. Have a nice night. Night. Bye.